Now it's time for the science page. It's time to look into the scientific part of celebrating the International Day for Girls, in which the doctors talked about the psychological and physical well-being of women. As part of celebrating Girls International Day, a symposium was held discussing means of ameliorating girls' psychological and physical health in remote and deprived areas. Actually, our campaign trying to focus on every problem facing girls. If you think about Egyptian girl, since her birth she faced circumcision, discrimination, till now there's discrimination between boys and girls, maybe literacy, uh, early marriage. Early marriage means multiple pregnancy, which means that I always remember that I have met before a patient in Asr Aini Hospital. She was pregnant in her fifth baby. When I asked her about her age, she told me, doctor, I don't know, look at my ID. When I look at her ID, she was, I was shocked that she was only 21 years old, although her face looks like about 45. This means that early age of marriage means multiple pregnancy, which leads that these women will be exhausted because she will not take enough care from her husband. She will not uh, take uh, nutrition, uh, medications. So we are trying to focus on every problems facing Egyptian girls. Uh, if we look about Egyptian girls, till now, they are facing more problems, maybe uh, like violence against girls in the streets. Uh, violence are in high rates here in Egypt. Uh, so we are trying to maybe spreading voice to community, to the government. Please look at more at girls. So today in International Day of Girl, which was held every 11th of October, we're trying to say, take care of our girls, please. <laughs> The symposium voiced women and girls' concerns and their call for gender equality, empowerment and freedom of choice.